about my most anticipated summer releases for 2017. I have like a really, really tiny list. It's like four books. And that's not to say that there's anything wrong with the other books that are coming out this summer. These are just the books that I'm most excited for. And also, there aren't that many books coming out this summer. So let's just get started. The first book on my tiny little midget list is Wicked Like Wildfire by Lana Papovic. This story is about twin sisters Iris and Melina who have the magical ability to manipulate beauty, like all of the women in their family. And to keep their gifts hidden, their mother shelters them in a secluded seaside town where they are forbidden to share their magic with anyone and they are forbidden to fall in love. But after their mother is mysteriously attacked, Iris and Melina go searching for the truth, only to uncover a curse that has been haunting their family. And though magic bonds them together, it could be the very thing that tears them apart. I love a sister stories so much and this one sounds like it's just gonna be really good. This is the first book in a duology and it is set to release August 15th. The second book that I'm excited for is Song of the Current by Sarah Tulser, which is a book about pirates. Oh my gosh, I love pirates so much. Ugh, this is just so exciting. <laughs> Seriously, I love pirates so much. Pirates of the Caribbean is just this like one of my favorite movies of all time and I know this isn't like a Pirates of the Caribbean story I don't want you guys to get confused about that it's definitely not a Pirates of the Caribbean story but Pirates of the Caribbean made me love pirates so I'm really excited to read this one <laughs> this story follows 17 year old Caro short for Caroline who like her father and grandmother is destined for the river but after pirates come and burn ships and Carol's father is arrested, she offers to transport cargo in exchange for her father's freedom. She finds that the cargo is a little more than what she was expecting it to be, and so she's thrown into this web of politics and lies, and oh my gosh, guys, there's action, adventure, pirates, there's a river god, and pirates, and oh my gosh, I love pirates. <laughs> Oh, now I'm just being weird. It just sounds like it's gonna be so much fun. Song of the Current is set to release June 6th. Um, it will probably already have come out by the time this video has been posted, but that's really soon, so I'm excited. <laughs> the next book is The Hearts We Sold by Emily Lloyd-Jones, which is about a girl who makes a deal with a demon and trades her heart to escape her disastrous life, only to fall in love with a boy who has made a deal of his own. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I find the idea really intriguing, so I'm looking forward to reading this one. I want to see where this story goes. This book is set to release August 29th. And the last book on my list is The Life She Was Given by Ellen Marie Wiseman. I'm actually going to read the description for this one because I didn't want to accidentally leave anything important out in my attempt to summarize the description, so <laughs> I'm just going to make this easy on both of us and read the description for you guys. On a summer evening in 1931, Lily Blackwood glimpses circus lights from the grimy window of her attic bedroom. Lily isn't allowed to explore the meadows around Blackwood Manor. She's never even ventured beyond her narrow room. Mama insists it's for Lily's own protection, that people would be afraid if they saw her, but on this unforgettable night, Lily is taken outside for the first time and sold to the circus sideshow. More than two decades later, 19-year-old Julia Blackwood has inherited her parents' estate and horse farm. For Julia, home was an unhappy place full of strict rules and forbidden rooms, and she hopes that returning might erase those painful memories. Instead, she becomes immersed in a mystery involving a hidden attic room and photos of circus scenes featuring a striking young girl. At first, the Barlow Brothers Circus is just another prison for Lily, but in this ragtag, sometimes brutal world, Lily discovers strength, friendship, and a rare affinity for animals. Soon, thanks to elephants Pepper and Jojo and their handler Cole, Lily is no longer a sideshow spectacle but the circus's biggest attraction, until tragedy and cruelty collide. It will fall to Julia to learn the truth about Lily's fate and her family's shocking betrayal, and find a way to make Blackwood Manor into a place of healing at last. So the story is told from two different perspectives and I love circus stories. Ever since the Night Circus, I feel like I just automatically drawn to any story that has to do with a circus. I love that book so much. It sounds like it's gonna be a really good story and I'm really excited for it. There's also another book that's coming out and it is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. I've never read a Lee Bardugo book before, but I do like Wonder Woman. I have not seen the movie yet. I mean, ever since I was a little girl, I was really fascinated with her, and I thought she was amazing. I've heard great things about Lee Bardugo's writing, and the story sounds really interesting, so I think that's one that I'm going to check out. But yeah, those are my most anticipated reads for the summer. What are you guys looking forward to? Let me know in the comments below so that I can check them out if I am unfamiliar with them. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.